the dreaded rotator cuff injury. If you love lifting upper body, throwing, swimming, or pretty much any upper body activity, rotator cuff issues are probably going to show up. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm here to tell you that you can stop doing those pointless banded therapy exercises and keep watching because I'm going to show you how to stay ahead of those pesky rotator cuff issues. What's up guys, Matt Pippen here and I've been a strength and mobility coach for over 15 years, helping over a thousand professional, collegiate, and everyday athletes move, feel, and perform at their highest level. And today I'm going to show you how you can say bye bye to those pesky rotator cuff issues. Now the reason the rotator cuff is always getting injured is because you're asking your shoulder to perform an action it doesn't have the prerequisites for. And then you're trying to add load or go into a position you're not capable of, which Surprise, surprise, creates a bigger problem. For instance, all you benchers or squatter out there, if you have a hard time just getting your arm into this position here, back here, or back here for the squat without weight, and now all of a sudden you add weight, we have a problem. Now if you're a swimmer and you have a hard time just being able to put your, both your arms over your head, once again, we have a problem. So you don't have enough range of motion for all those activities, that's when rotator cuff issues start to come. Now, how do we create more range? We use isometrics for rotation of the shoulder. Now typically, it's lack of internal rotation. So this move right here, that's the biggest culprit. So that's what we're gonna attack first because if you don't have that internal rotation, if you don't have the ability to go here, you're never gonna have the ability to go overhead. You're never gonna have the ability to put your arms back here or even maybe even put your arms in the back behind you or even, heck, reach in the back seat of a car safely. So you have to create that internal rotation of the shoulder, which is obviously what we're going to attack right now. So as we go into this, isometrics are basically just a fancy way of saying we're contracting muscles without anything moving. So remember like those old school videos, you like, you push your hands together really hard like this and you feel your pecs light up. That's an isometric contraction. So we're just going to use that now for the shoulder. Now typically we've seen in these banded exercises, right? Those are cool and all, but they only get you stronger at what you currently have. They don't make you have more range, which we learn is the problem, right? So let's go create that more range. So when you go to do this, you don't, you don't like you guys put those towels here underneath your elbow. Go ahead and grab one of those because it's kind of a good feedback thing because we want to keep that elbow on our ribs. And now from here, we're just going to simply pull our arm in toward our belly. So if I turn for you guys, you can see my elbow is staying still and I'm just pulling him as far as I can toward my stomach. Now, before we start producing force, we have to follow one rule and one rule only. Don't crank on something if it's painful. So if touching your stomach is a little painful, you just simply back off your range. You can see how I have a gap here. Basically, figure out where you can go safely and produce force, and as long as there's no pain, that's where you wanna be at, okay? So elbows in, we're gonna pull inward. We're gonna hold right here. Now, we're gonna attack the outside tissue first because we're gonna do two different things here. You're gonna take your left hand, put it on your wrist, not the back of your hand, but your wrist, lock that elbow into play, and you're gonna act like you're trying to rotate your arm into your hand, but it's not gonna move because it's isometrics. So let's start at like about a three or four out of 10, and just feel that tissue contract. We're gonna go for 10 seconds. And when you do this, you should feel the outside part of your right shoulder. Make sure your shoulder's down, your elbow's staying still. We're just gonna go for about another five seconds, four, three, two, and you relax. And you should have felt that right here. Let's do that again. Take that left hand, put it in the same exact spot, elbow into the ribs, shoulder down, rotate into your hand. So that hand's like the immovable object. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, feel that good stuff on the outside shoulder, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Now, if you felt any pain there, you either one, you went too hard, or two, you just gotta back off your range, so be a little bit more out here. Let's do that one more time for three, and let's begin. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. So we've done three by 10 on the outside tissue. Now we're gonna go train the inside tissue, but at the same exact spot, and that's how we create more range. We do four stuff on both sides, nervous system lets us have more. So now you're gonna take your thumb, you can see I'm gonna put it on the inside part of my wrist, so the opposite side, and then now I'm gonna to try to drive my arm away from my stomach. So I'm trying to rotate the right arm into my stomach, the left hand's pushing him away, but nothing is moving. Same concepts. So let's go for 10, nine, 
Eight, you should kind of feel like bicep stuff, some lat stuff, armpit stuff. Four, three, two, you relax. That caused pain, what do you do? Just back off a little bit, right? Now let's go again. Push into that thumb, feel that good contraction. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Let's go one more time and go. You can push maybe a little bit harder on this one. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Now that we've created more range, now we need to go hit the save button to our brain. How we do that is we just now make the shoulder rotate. So I'm gonna take my arm out, so this is the next exercise. I'm gonna lock my arm, pull my scap down so I have a good space, and I'm gonna look at this inner elbow. So you'll feel this little nub here, right? So we're gonna focus on him because he's the bottom of the shoulder bone. So if he turns over, that came from my shoulder. Now I don't wanna cause any pinching here, so only go where you're pain free, and then I'm gonna to try to turn that elbow up, that's external. We're gonna go back internal, and we're gonna go external. We're just gonna do 10 reps. Now this is something you can do all day, every day. This is just good stuff for your brain, and that kind of making that brain joint connection. And as long as it's pain free, man, we're doing so much good stuff here. And this is how we start to control our range of motion as we get a bigger range of motion. Because remember, that's what causes those pinches and that pain stuff is lack of range. Let's go about two more here. One and two. Now we did it at this spot. Let's go find one more spot. We're going to go here, start to turn them in, and turn them out. Turn them in, turn them out, and make sure you're just not letting that shoulder shrug, right? We just want to make sure the scapula doesn't move. You're just feeling good shoulder stuff. Let's go about three more. I know this stuff looks super easy, guys, but that's the beauty of this, man. You don't have to make things complicated. Make it easy, and then you're going to be more likely to do it, and that's when we get good stuff. So we've done one spot, one spot. Let's go find one more position. Let's just go straight down. And now same thing. And now you're here, you're probably going to have way more movement than you did in any other spot. You can always do this overhead if you'd like. You can do it across your body. It doesn't really matter. We're just getting more volume. Nice and smooth. Let's get about three more. And relax. All right, so we do three spots at 10 reps each, and that's kind of how we do those rotations. Now, I know both of these, like I said earlier, they seem super simple. But that doesn't mean they're not effective. The fact is, make your joints do what they're meant to do, and good things start to happen. You can perform both of these exercises every single day. I'm going to repeat that. You can do these every single day. Now, in terms of progressions, you want to start increasing the duration of the isometric. So you know those 3 by 10 we did? You can now increase those to 3 by 15 seconds after about two weeks, and then go 3 by 20, and then eventually 3 by 30. Now the further rotations, just continue with the 10 reps because the cool part is every time you do them, you're going to be getting a little bit more range so you're almost naturally progressing. Now with that, if you guys found today's coaching helpful, give me a like or a share so I know what tips you guys want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out on all the awesome content we have coming your way. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys next time.